This is Brian Watkins and this is my video tutorial for pivot tables. And we are working specifically on table D7 which illustrates the drill down function. Table D7 actually requires you to do two tables but they're easy. So let me show you how this is done. You go to the salesperson reports, insert pivot table, pivot table, and let's set our salesperson as the report filter. And remember, we're just concerned about Buchanan. And you'll recall that we've learned that our dates need to be ungrouped. And in order to show the first quarter of 2004, we have to make sure that we group quarters and years so that we get the full range. Now we can see that quarter and let's add the order amount and let's just format that order amount okay there's our table that shows Buchanan's number for quarter one of 04 is this 3237.12 this table that we're going to prepare next is what's called a drill down if I put the cursor on the cell that has that number and I double click I instantly get a new worksheet that has a complete listing of all data that uh, has anything to do with that number watch two clicks that took us to sheet 40 and it gave us this uh, summary listing of four data four data fields let me just format that those came directly from the salesperson reports. All five fields are present in that report. So it's just a raw piece of information uh, that's provided to you anytime you take, if I want to find out where the 210 came from his 2005 quarter two, I double click on it, a new sheet is created, and it gives me the one line that pertains to that amount. So that is the drill down feature. It's extremely useful. Don't forget it.